This is Big Island Video News for Wednesday, August 31, 2011. On Monday, we had video of the massive donkey rehoming clinic held in Waikiki Ranch, where nearly 200 of the famed Waikoloa nightingales, today's feral descendants of the animals that were brought to Kona to help on coffee plantations, were prepared for adoption. So the uh, 120 of them are being uh, selected out of 191. Um, the 120 are being selected to fly to California to be relocated at a Peaceful Valley donkey rescue in California. Um, the males are castrated. All of the males today will be castrated. And the donkeys that are being sent to California are also receiving a uh, microchip for identification and a blood test to clear their entrance into California. Although Dr. Brady Bergen said the donkeys were surprisingly cooperative, it still meant lots of hard work for these volunteers. So these donkeys have been kept up here thanks to Waikiki Ranch. Some of the homeowners up here have agreed to let us hold the donkeys prior to shipment on their property here. So they've been in holding for about the past months to two months. Um, today they're brought up into the corral. They're run down this uh, alleyway. That's This old corral is actually used for cattle. So they are run down this alleyway here up to a, uh, a chute. One of them uh, was, uh, at a time goes into the chute and in the chute they, uh, they're given their injections of uh, anesthetics for surgery. Their blood is pulled for the blood test that they require and their microchip. Then once that's all done we let them out. They, the anesthesia kicks in. They are under anesthesia for surgery. The uh, castration is being performed by three different veterinarians. Um, there's a team uh, that's here from California, thanks to the Humane Society that's here um, participating, as well as uh, another local equine veterinarian. Um, once they're castrated, they're allowed to recover on their own and then uh, moved into one of these holding pens where they can recover completely. One recognizable volunteer here on horseback, Senator Clayton He of Hawaii's 23rd District. I was invited here by uh, Inga Gibson from the Humane Society of the United States, you know, for the donkeys. Uh, I've been involved with animal welfare legislation oh, since, I guess, 2005. What, what, what you see here is the embodiment of a way of life. Uh, in my particular case, uh, my family is from Kona. There were two coffee plantations, and um, donkeys were a part of their life. They were an integral part of the coffee industry, and any success owed to Kona Coffee cannot be done so in isolation of the animals. To suggest that these animals should be repaid for their hard work by putting a bullet through them is cruel and inhumane. To any degree that people are willing to take them, uh, in a sanctuary is an effort that uh, is worth pursuing. In this particular case, it's not costing the taxpayers a single penny. This is all private funds by philanthropists who, of whom animal welfare is very important. The least I can do is assist in that noble effort. More than 100 donkeys are planned to fly, by plane of course, to Peaceful Valley Donkey Rescue in Southern California in September.